Hi, and welcome to Explore Classroom. My name is Jennifer Bergen, and I am so happy to have you join us here today. At National Geographic, we believe in the power of exploration, wonder, and storytelling to change the world. And this Explore Our Classroom YouTube show connects students from all over the world with our National Geographic Explorers for short lessons followed by time for your questions. And today our explorer is Tara Roberts. Tara is a storyteller who follows and tells the stories about divers searching for shipwrecks. And Tara's mission is to humanize and bring empathy to the slave trade story, reminding all of us that first and foremost, it's a story about people and that there is a complex story to be told about enslavement. She's also a fellow at the MIT Open Documentary Lab, and she has worked as an editor and writer for magazines like Ebony, Essence, and Cosmo Girl. Tara has also traveled around the world on several solo backpacking adventures, and she loves to meet new people, share stories, and empower the next generation. That is you. So before we get into today's lesson, let's welcome all of our friends who are joining us from around the world. Wherever you may be, give a big cheer when you hear your state or your country or your class. We'd like to welcome students today from Wisconsin, Vermont, Virginia, Utah, Texas, South Carolina, Pennsylvania, Oregon, Ontario, Ohio, New York, Nevada, New Jersey, New Mexico, North Carolina, Minnesota, Michigan, Maryland, Massachusetts, Kentucky, Illinois, Idaho, Iowa, Georgia, Florida, Delaware, the District of Columbia, Colorado, Connecticut, California, Arizona, Arkansas, Alabama, South Africa, Georgia, Romania, Mexico, and Angola. And we'd also like to give some classroom shout outs. So hello and welcome to the Moreau family, Mrs. Martin's class, Afton EW, Mrs. C. Garner's class, Mrs. Davis's class, Ms. Leach's Royals, APB Academy, Mr. Nielsen's class, Ms. Riddle's class, Mrs. Green's classroom, Mrs. W's class, Fuente's Homeschool, Hi Soon, Mrs. Odom's Kindergartners, the Bygos family, Mrs. South, Mrs. Shepherd's first grade class, Ms. Glenbaki's class one through four, Mrs. Flynn's class, Mrs. Mangali Soto's firsties, Mrs. Owen's class, Ms. Dubois' third grade, and hello to Ikum in the Yukon, who we've heard is a bit of a shipwreck expert too. We are so thrilled to have all of you here with us. And with that welcome, let's get Explorer Classroom started. It's time to turn it over to Tara to share about diving into history. Take it away, Tara. Hello, everybody. Hi. <laughs> I am so happy to be here and just so happy to see you all. Oh my gosh, all of those states named. It's like the entire US is here. And then all kinds of people from all over the world. I love it. And I feel like I can see all of you. <laughs> and if I don't see you, I want you to know that I can definitely feel your energy. I think uh, energy is really important. Um, so I always take just a couple of seconds to just sort of breathe in the energy so that we can all feel connected to each other. So I'm just gonna breathe in two breaths to connect us all. All right, I feel connected to all of you. Thank you. So like Jennifer said, I'm a storyteller. who has been following 
these divers as they search for slave shipwrecks. But I'm also a scuba diver. So let's just start off with the basics. How many of you know what a scuba diver does? All right. <laughs> some of you do, some of you don't. Um, and that's perfect. Let me just explain a little more. So scuba divers use equipment, equipment like this, to swim and breathe underwater. That's it. It's pretty simple and it's pretty cool. I, I think actually the coolest thing about scuba divers is that they get to stay under the water for a long time. So they can actually stay under the water for 30 minutes or 45 minutes or maybe even an hour. I think that's really, really cool. And I thought you guys might like to actually see some of the equipment up close. So that's why I'm wearing everything here. Um, one of the most important things for a scuba diver is a mask. So that's what I have here. The mask is really important because it keeps the water out of your eyes and out of your nose. And it lets you see the bottom of the ocean really clearly. The next thing um, that is a part of the equipment is the snorkel. So that's here, you can see it, there's the top of it, the snorkel. So technically you don't use the snorkel when you're on the bottom of the ocean, but you use it when you're swimming on the top of the ocean and you, you can put your whole face in the water and then it lets you see what's going on below. But when you're ready to actually dive in and go down to the bottom, that's when you use this vest here. I know if you can see me, see me? Yes. So this vest is called a BCD. That's a buoyancy um, control device. I almost forgot what it <laughs> stands for. It's a buoyancy control device. Um, and you put this on, you wear it like a vest, and then you have a hose that um, is called a regulator. And the regulator is something that you, you put one end of it into your mouth, and then the other end attaches to a tank. I don't have on a tank or my regulator right now, but you attach it to the air tank, and then air flows through the hose into your mouth. And that's when you, you sound really weird when you breathe. I'm gonna to try to, to demonstrate what it sounds like. Don't laugh at me. You sound really weird. It's like, <sighs> okay, not that bad. That sounds really weird and bad. <laughs> it's not that, that crazy, but you do sound weird. Um, but it's okay because the magic thing is that suddenly when you have it in your mouth, you can breathe underwater. It's like magic. It's like you become Ariel, the little mermaid, or you become Aquaman. <laughs> and you can um, just hang out underwater for as long as you want. The other thing, let me not forget about that, that you also use are your fins. Let me see this. The fins are what um, propels you forward in the water. All right, so who, uh, who knows how to swim? Yeah? Let me, uh, let me see your, your, some swim moves. Like how do you swim when you're in the water? Oh, you got some really good moves there. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> awesome. All right, so I am going to play a clip. It's an audio clip. And I'm gonna ask you to do me a favor as you listen to this audio clip. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to actually imagine that you're me, okay? So you've got on all the equipment, you've got on your mask, you've got on your BCD, you have your regulator and your tank. And you're gonna imagine that you're me. And we're on a boat and we're in the middle of the ocean, okay? The water is blue. 
The sun is shining. The weather is warm. The waves are calm. So when the clip starts, you're gonna be me and you're about to put on your mask and jump off the ship. So, okay, are you ready? You're gonna close your eyes and I'm watching. So I can see if I can see if you're peeking. <laughs> close your eyes and imagine that we're about to go down. All right, for about 30 seconds, here we go. Mask on. I take one more look around and then I tip over the side. I drop in. I love scuba diving. The way I feel like I'm in another universe, like I'm flying. I'm under the water, but here I can actually breathe. I look around through the beds of corals, the schools of fish, and I can see my companions gliding through the water. They're just as at home as I am. I feel so free. <laughs> Okay, you can open your eyes now. All right, so when you were down there, what did you see? Did anybody see Nemo? Did you see Nemo? Yes! Did you see a giant turtle? Yes! Oh, did you see a shark? Oh, you saw a shark! <laughs> Here's a tip, if you see a shark in the water, if you don't mess with it, it won't mess with you. <laughs> so you're good. Awesome. Well, let me tell you what I saw when I was down there. I saw the wreckage from a ship, a slave ship. Now, Jennifer told you that this is what I've been doing for the past couple of years. I've been following these scuba divers who dive, they're all over the world searching for these slave ship wrecks. And then I've been telling stories about their journey. So some of you might ask, well, what is a slave ship? What does that mean? Well, the ships that we've been documenting are ships from a really long time ago. And they are, when these ships were full of people from all over Africa who were captured and taken from their homes and from their families. And they were forced to travel thousands of miles across the Atlantic to a place where they didn't speak the language and they were forced to work for no pay. And they were kind of treated badly whenever they protested. So they took mothers, they took fathers, and they took children. Can you imagine what it would be like if somebody took you from your family and from your home, and then they were mean to you and didn't allow you to, to go away? Well, that's what happened to these people. And some of them didn't even survive the journey because their ships wrecked. So the group that I follow works really hard to find evidence and discover info about these people that were lost centuries ago. And do you know why this is important? It's important because when you get a little bit older, you're going to be in history classes and you're gonna be studying some of this history but right now, a lot of these stories about these people, it's not in the history books. And you've got over a million people, a million people whose lives were lost and nobody knows what happened to them. Nobody knows their stories. If you were ever lost, wouldn't you want somebody to be able to like find out what happened to you and to tell your story? Well, that's exactly what my divers are trying to do. And so far they found a handful of these ships 
but they estimate that over a thousand ships are out there somewhere. And they're along the coasts of countries in Africa, in Europe, in North America, and in South America. So there's lots and lots of work to be done. But here's the cool thing. People of all ages, including some people that are your age, are actually getting trained to find this history and help tell these stories. So I want to share my screen with you. And I want to show you pictures of some of these people who are doing this work. I'm just putting on my share screen. All right, you can see my screen. There we go. There we go. So this is a young guy. He's only five years old and he's uh, in Costa Rica. The next couple of pictures that I'm gonna show you are all from Costa Rica. And it's a bunch of kids that are part of a children's diving camp. So they are learning how to snorkel and how to spot pieces from wrecks in shallow water. This is the young guy's um, cousin and she's also five years old. And here's another guy, um, a young guy who is about eight years old. And what they're doing um, is they're learning how to snorkel. And they're learning this specifically because in Costa Rica, there are two slave shipwrecks that are really close to their home. So these kids get to be a part of finding the history of the place where they're from where they're actually from. Doesn't that sound kind of fun? Wouldn't you like to do that? Next up, this is a group of young people who are in Mozambique and they're all practicing in a pool. So these young people are training to be community monitors so that they can protect the history from that's in their harbors right around where they live. And they're protecting the history in case anybody might try to steal it and then sell some of the artifacts and make money off of it. They don't want that. Um, but they're also not only protectors, but they're also educators. And they get to tell their neighbors about this history that's been buried on the ocean floor for centuries. It's kind of amazing that some of these young people will know more about this history than their parents do, or even their grandparents. So here is a picture of the tanks. I didn't have an actual tank to show you, but that's what the tank looks like. And you put that, you attach it to your BCD and then to your regulator. And this is what the regulator looks like. You can see it right here, it goes in your mouth and it's attached to his vest and his tank is back there. So these are a group of young people from the United States um, and they are a part. So I told you, I think I told you that the name of the group of divers that I've been following is called Divers with a Purpose. So there's a youth version of this group that's called Youth Divers with a Purpose. And these young ladies are diving in Florida off the coast. I know there's some folks from Florida that are here they're diving off of um, the coast of Key Largo. And here are the divers all posing for a picture together underwater. These are more of the youth divers with a purpose. And down here is the founder, this guy named Ken. He's the founder of Diving with a Purpose. And he's the co-founder of Youth Diving with a Purpose. And this young woman here named Justine is also the co-founder. So there they are all together. And finally, I just wanted to show you a couple of pictures of what it looks like to actually map a shipwreck. So there's lots of measuring that goes on. You can see these guys are, they're measuring the artifacts that are on the floor. Like there's an artifact right there. And 
they're measuring where it is on the ocean floor. And then you have this diver here who's her artifact is down here and she's drawing a picture of it. So she has to stay really still and not let the currents push her around so that she can draw what's on the floor. And then the last picture that I'm gonna show you is me. That's me and I am, um, I'm in Florida again, and I am um, measuring and mapping a wreck that's there. And I'm trying my best to not um, move, <laughs> to stay still. So that's it. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. And that's it. Well, friends, we're getting to the end of our show. And I know that you have so many more wonderful questions. But for our last question for Tara, we'd like to ask, how can we join you? How can we take on your mission and help people find their history and tell their stories? Mm, it's a beautiful question. Um, I think one of the first ways, especially if you're interested in this history in particular, is learning to swim. <laughs> so that you can get into the ocean. Yes, learn to swim. And then you can learn how to snorkel. And then you can learn how to scuba dive. And you can join one of the groups. Um, the Youth Diving with the Purpose group is what they say they are, are underwater archeology span advocates. And you can learn how to scuba dive as young as 10 years old. And you can become a part of YDWP. You got a few more years, but as young as 16. So you could actually be assisting with that uh, mission. If you like to swim and you like the water. And if not, there's still like all kinds of things to learn just about your own history. And I would say, this would be my, my charge to you um, this week, if you want to. Ask one of your caregivers, it could be your mom, it could be your aunt, it could be your grandma, it could be your dad, it could be an uncle, it could even be a big brother, big sister. But ask them to tell you a story about their past. That's a way to start uncovering history. Tara, thank you so much for this amazing time together. Thank you for having me. It's been wonderful. I've loved seeing all of your faces. Thank you for your questions. Thank you for going underwater with me and for showing me your swim strokes. I've loved it. So thank you. Friends, I bet there are many of you who are interested in more opportunities to explore after today's show. So please check out Explore Classroom. We've got so many more free resources and they are outstanding. They are educational and they're all at natgeoed.org. And I hope that you'll join us for more events like this. Of course, Tara's show is being recorded so you can watch it over and over, but we've got lots of other episodes as well and a new one coming next week. We're going to welcome Explorer Astrid Shu. We've also got journalists, biologists, adventurers, and more coming on the schedule. So be sure to check our schedule out and you can register for an on-screen spot like many of our friends did today. Just go to natgeoed.org backslash explore classroom. Also happy Black History Month to all of our viewers. We wanna encourage everyone to take some extra time this month to learn more about the struggles, the strengths, and the excellence associated with Black history. But of course, we also wanna remind you, Black excellence is something to cheer about all year round. So everyone have a great day, stay curious, 